Hi there. Um, I am making this video today to kind of go through everything that I'm packing for my deep flap surgery, which is next week. Today is Friday. We leave tomorrow early Saturday morning for San Antonio, Texas. And then the surgery will be Wednesday in San Antonio at PRMA. And so PRMA did provide a packing list, like a, well, a hospital packing list for what to like bring in the hospital for your stay. So we'll go over that first. And then I'll show just kind of everything else that I'm bringing. Um, this is not my first surgery. This is my like third breast surgery. So I've had a mastectomy with immediate reconstruction um, two years ago. And then last year I had a, um, or I guess almost three years ago, 2020 I had a mastectomy with reconstruction. And then 2021 I had a like a mastectomy where they removed the implant and did a chest wall resection and then this is a mastectomy with reconstruction and so a delayed deep on one side and immediate deep flap on the other side and um, you could check out my other video to kind of go into what a deep flap surgery is and why i chose it um but i'm just going to kind of go over packing uh for this surgery and so um the first thing that they recommend bringing to the hospital um is slippers and actually just got some new tom slippers they're on sale they just came in today like just in time because we're leaving tomorrow so i'm really excited they're really comfortable um they select uh and then a comfortable robe i'm not i have a couple robes but they're kind of the ones i have are bulky and what i decided to bring instead is one of my i don't know i call it a housewife cardigan it's kind of like a robe but it's like a really long cardigan um like this and i wear it quite a lot around the house and it has pockets. And so I might wear it inside out to use the pockets to put my drains in, um, but that is that. They also recommend a pillow from home, which I'll be bringing without a white pillowcase because the hospital ones are white. So you'll just wanna bring a different pillowcase. It'll be a little more comfortable than the ones the hospital provides. Um, also um, entertainment books and so I don't know what I'll exactly bring to the hospital. I know I'll bring my um, wireless earbuds and I have for entertainment in general, I guess I'll just go over that. I have a um, Sudoku book and I have a couple different embroidery kits. Um, I like to do embroidery. I don't know if I'll bring this to the hospital, but this definitely for like our other stay. We'll be down in San Antonio for about two weeks start to finish. That includes travel time like it takes about two days to get there and then I have an appointment on Monday uh, like a pre-operation appointment and then Wednesday's my surgery and then we'll stay like a solid week and a half after my surgery and then take two days to drive home and so we'll have a lot of downtime especially because we're not gonna have the kids with us the kids are staying here in Michigan and so I'm, I don't know, I might get to do some embroidery, which would be kind of nice. Um, so that's like entertainment. But then obviously I have lots of audiobooks on my phone. I have all the subscriptions to different streaming platforms for watching shows. And so I'll definitely be using that as well. Um, they said earplugs and an eye mask. Um, I do have an eye mask right here because the hospital is bright. And, you know, the hospital, if you're staying in the hospital before, they'll come in all hours of the day and if you're tired um you know there's just lots of lights and so just to help you sleep if you need some downtime and it's bright out um i'm not gonna bring earplugs i we have some i don't know i might have my husband throw some in there but i do have my uh raycon ear uh bluetooth and these are pretty good um and then another thing they recommend was they said colgate whisk but i couldn't find the colgate so these are crest mini toothbrushes and so you don't need water you they have like the toothpaste right on there that you can they're like for traveling but so you know after your surgery and be in the hospital you might feel kind of gross you may not want to you may not be able to get up and go to the bathroom to like brush your teeth and freshen up right away and so this is something that's like easy you could do um like staying in your hospital bed um as well i brought i'm bringing like facial wipes like makeup removing wipes um, just to kind of help clean up. Um, um, let me think what else. Oh, glasses. So I don't need glasses. I only need glasses like when I drive at night 
in the rain especially and so I'm not planning on bringing my glasses to the hospital but if you wear contacts you're not going to be able to so you need to have like your backup glasses. Um, face and body wipes which I just showed you um, and then this was something that they recommended. This is um, men's like undershirts and so I'm going to open these and then I'm going to they told me to like cut them down the middle and then when you leave the hospital I'm going to like you'll put on the men's shirt first and then I'll have like a surgical bra as well as like an abdominal binder um and that they just recommend the white shirts cut down the middle so that you don't put anything over your head because you're not gonna I'm not gonna be able to like raise my hands above my head and the shirts to kind of just be like a protectant against your against like the bra and the binder against your skin and just be like comfortable. I thought about just using like my husband's old ones and then I'm like, you know, I probably should get like cleaned ones. And so I bought a package. I bought like like a bigger size than I would wear if I wore those. Um, yes, and so that's to wear. And then they say a positive attitude. I think I got that in check and then support. I'm bringing my husband. He's going to be with us, the, with me the whole time and um, staying in the hospital with me. Um, so that's going to be great. Okay, so those are things that like the hospital recommends for the hospital stay. Next, I'm going to go over um, some other things that PRMA recommended uh, or not really recommended. It's like what they like the protocol that they do. So remember that like every hospital system will be different. Every surgeon will be different. Um, and so just whatever your surgeon and hospital recommends, those are what this is what you know, what you, what you should follow. And so the night, but this is pretty standard, the night before surgery, um, I'm planning on actually going and getting my hair braided, like two French braids, um, uh, so that I don't have to like do my hair the next day or the next couple days when I can't shower and it won't look gross. I have curly hair and if I don't like do stuff to it or if I'm like laying down, it's just gonna get a big frizzy mess and I don't wanna worry about that. So I'm gonna have my hair braided and then that night I'll put a shower cap on um, and I'll take my first shower with Hippoclens. And so Hippoclens is, I don't know exactly what it is. It's like a pre-surgical soap you use. So I'll use that the night before. And then as well as take one of these um, pre-surgery drinks. So these are called Clear Fast. And I'll take one the night before. And um, it's kind of like a surgery Gatorade. And so I believe it's going to help so that um, after coming out of anesthesia, you're not as dehydrated as you would be. You know, you have to fast before a surgery. You can't drink anything besides clear liquids. And this is a clear liquid, but it also has some like electrolytes in it. So I'm going to drink one the night before. And then the morning of, I'll take another shower using hip cleanse. No makeup, no lotion. Um, no even like dark nail polish. I only could have like clear or light nail polish. Um, another shower, shower with this and then take my second HIPAA cleanse. And then I also have this whole other list of medications and I'll take one the morning of the rest of them. Like um, I'll be taking them later on. But for the medications, it's kind of interesting. I made this like chart and then I like sticker coded it and I put like the medication, the purpose and the instructions. And then I have like days and there's like enough room to write you know like morning afternoon evening or however many times I have to take it and this is like week two um I think I, I did like three weeks so I sticker coded it and then on the actual medications themselves I put stickers on them I put sticker like on the bottle and then also on the cap and so I mean my husband can read we can figure it out but I just think it will be a little bit helpful so um so that's like the morning of the surgery other items I am bringing um, would be, I don't know, I had felt like I had to buy new underwear. And so brand new underwear <laughs> um, and uh, socks, obviously. I'm not so much, I'm not bringing any bras. I mean, I'm gonna be wearing a bra on the way down there. But then other than that, I'm not bringing any bras because I'm gonna be wearing like the surgical bra that they, and the binder that they give, give me. Um, I'm bringing chains and some cash for tolls and like the travel on the way there. Um, a heating pad 
This one just goes in the microwave for like lower back pain or anything. And then I have two lanyards. I picked these up at the Dollar Tree today. And so what I found helpful for like drain management, there's lots of different options. Um, one option is wearing a lanyard around your neck with some safety pins, which reminds me I need to pack my safety pins. Um, safety pinning them to like the ring um, so that like the, the drains are in the way. I'm going to have probably at least three drains this time. I've only ever had one at a time, so that would be a little bit different. But I'm assuming I'm going to have two, one from each breast and then one or two from my abdomen. Um, and so I got two. So like if I wanted to take a shower, which... Um, I will be showering every day. I have a protocol for showers and they recommend like at once I get back to out of the hospital showering every day. Um, I'll have like one to shower for this to kind of like dry out a little bit. Um, another option for, and this, I also went over a little bit of these things in another video I made last or 2021 about like just mastectomy recovery items and so this is like a little more in depth especially because I'm traveling for this um but this is a shirt or like a zip up shirt that has drain pockets sewn inside and so there's a pocket on each side um so that I can like stuff drains in there um in general, all of the clothes I'm bringing are going to be buttoned down and like kind of looser fitting pants or like uh, sweatpants. Um, I, I won't be able to, again to like lift my head or like, you know, squeeze into a shirt above my head for a while. And so button down is going to be like what you need to do as well as, you know, like sweat, like open cardigans or sweaters. Um, and so I bought a couple like, like over the summer because I knew I was going to be having this surgery like I bought a couple from I think this is like JCPenney and things and then I had a stack already that just kind of like stays in like the closet of ones that I've used in the past that I either got you know at Old Navy or at thrift stores over the last couple of years and so they're like my surgery clothes and so here's a couple more um one thing I have found and I mentioned this in another video is that especially for like the tank top ones they're like you know cutoffs um it's hard to find them that aren't sheer and like you're not gonna be wanting you can't wear like a cami or anything under it and so um ones that are like just not sheer but they're like a full thick material that aren't, isn't see-through is best and it's kind of hard to find um days so and then i have a whole stack of jammies that are all buttoned down i'm bringing like three sets and then um, I got this from Walmart and I'm really excited. This is a button down. It's just kind of cute. It's like a flannel with a hood um, button down. And then I think what else I'm bringing? I'm bringing a rain jacket, a pair of rain boots, a pair of uh, like slip on tennis shoes and um like one pair of jeans um and I won't be wearing the jeans after the surgery probably for a while but you know before and so um that's kind of what I have oh the other section I wanted to talk about is pillows okay so I bought a new neck pillow for the hospital as well as the drive my old neck pillow was so cheap and so old and like it had like the beads in it and it was just like never comfortable and didn't do its job at all and so I was talking to my husband and complaining and he's like just buy a nice one you know you're gonna need it and like we I always bring neck pillow on vacations and so it kind of makes sense but this is like memory foam I got it from TJ Maxx and it was not even that expensive but it's just such a big upgrade from my last one I also have this seat belt pillow that I'll definitely be needing on the way home um and it's velcro and it goes over your seat belt my mother-in-law bought it for me a couple years ago and it's come and used plenty of times since then um because you know you're gonna have it I have to wear a seat belt when I'm in the car but I have um be sore and tender in that area and so that kind of helps and then um, another friend sent me this like, from 2020 and it's still around. I just have it up in the closet. I'm looking forward to the day when I don't need it. But um, this is a mastectomy recovery pillow. And the way it kind of works is like you can kind of like hug it like this. And there's a packet even for drains. I have seen, now they make some 
that are the same shape, but right here it has a seam and it folds a little better. And then you can even like clip it in the back and almost like wear it. Um, Cause it kind of doesn't even, this one doesn't quite reach all the way back there. But um, I don't know, it was kind of cool that as an option. And then the other pillow I'm bringing is, and you could go back in my mastectomy from 2021 video I made, like mastectomy recovery items. It is a giant like wedge pillow that I bought for that surgery. Now, where we're staying, so we're going to drive to Missouri. I'm going to see my sister and her brand new baby. And then we're going to do the next day finish drive to San Antonio. And when we get there, we're going to be staying in this awesome place called Rose's House. And it is a kind of like an Airbnb, like vacation rental, but they only rent out to cancer patients going through treatment or through like a surgery. And um, it, it just has everything set up. It has like a electric reclining chair, like a power lift chair. They have two of them, like a walk-in shower. It's a nice house in a suburb with two bedrooms, air conditioning, fireplace, patio, just kind of everything to be like super comfortable um, while you're out of town. And they like really do cater to women in my situation going through the surgery. And um, so it's, it's a very, it's a very cool place we're staying. So they're going to have everything I need, but just, I am bringing the big, my big wedge pillow system just in case, like, especially on the way home, when we travel home, we plan on again stopping at my sister and she also has a recliner I'll be able to sleep in. But like, if we make it to Illinois or something and there's a snowstorm, which has happened before and we have to stay overnight in a hotel, we just want to be prepared. And since we do have the room because we are driving and not flying, um, I'm, we're just going to bring this huge giant box of this like pillow wedge system that I look forward to getting out of my basement one day. Um, and so those are like our everything I'm bringing for the pillows. This is that giant wedge pillow box I told you we're bringing. Um, there's not a picture of it and I'm not going to open it right now, but it's pretty big. Um, so there's that. And then the other thing is um, starting a week before surgery, I had to start drinking protein drinks. And so this is a really great brand my sister-in-law introduced me to. And it tastes good. It's 30 grams of protein, only 150 calories, and it's like two grams of sugar. Um, and so I'm drinking that and I need to drink one a day until surgery and then after surgery to continue. And that's just to like increase the protein in my body so that, um, it just, you know, more protein, your muscles and your body can heal faster. Okay. So that's everything I think I'm packing unless I'm forgetting something or, you know, just kind of throw some extra stuff in later. But, um, that is all.